Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Hello everybody. In this video, I will present to you how to use the SDK manager to update the SDK used in your Android Studio. To do so, you have to go to the SDK manager icon on the toolbar and you click on it. Also, you can go to the Tools sub-menu and you select and click on the SDK Manager menu item. A new window that contains the Android SDK related operations is displayed and the SDK Manager starts looking for updates. This window contains the location of the Android SDK used by the Android Studio. It is possible to select another Android SDK in another location by selecting the edit link beside the path name. A new window is displayed that can be used to select another SDK stored in the hard disk drive of your computer. Right. So you can use the browse button to navigate in your uh, computer directories to select the appropriate location of uh, your SDK, uh, SDK that uh, you wish to use for uh, future uh, develop application development. And you hit the OK button to validate your selection. Here you click on the next to uh, to start the inclusion of your new SDK. Also the SDK manager related uh, window contains three tabs. The SDK platforms tab, the SDK tools tab and the SDK update side tab. In the SDK Platforms tab, you can set up the platform appropriate for the Android version that you would like to develop for. This tab presents information about each platform in the form of a table. It gives information about the name, the API level, the revision and the status if the platform is installed or not. So you can install a platform by checking the beside checkbox and you click on the apply button to start the inclusion of this platform in your SDK. This tab contains the hide obsolete package and show package details checkboxes. If we check the hide obsolete package, the oldest and unusable platforms disappear. like Android 1.1, Android 1.5, and Android, Android 1.6 and inversion. If we check the show package details, the subparts of each platform is are displayed and we can check the beside checkbox to uh, select the part that we would like to uh, install and we hit the apply button to start the inclusion of uh, this sub part in the SDK used by 
uh, Android Studio. In the SDK Tools tab, you can set up optional tools as necessary. So you can install a tool by checking the beside checkbox and you click on the apply button. In the SDK update size, you can use the plus sign to add a new site to update your SDK by entering the web address of the new site. Also, Also, you can remove, you can edit a site. Also, you can check, check or uncheck the use uh, of a website to include or to uh, discard the use of this website for updates of for the update of the SDK of uh, uh, used by your Android Studio. Thank you for watching. See you next time.